Widow's Peak is a transformerless dynamic microphone preamp which uses a Vactral based opto compressor for peak limiting designed to smash drums, smooth vocals, and bring out the character of any stage mic at hand. All right, y'all ready for this? So let's capture an example here of a live drum kit going through a dynamic Shure SM57 microphone uh, that's going into the Widow's Peak over here. And the input is uh, counterclockwise, fully counterclockwise. Output is at noon and I am going into my Scarlett 4i4 interface, channel one with the gain all, right, all the way fully counterclockwise. Now let's arm the track and let's hear what it sounds like at the minimum input setting. How about it? Let's say about nine o'clock. How about noon? How about three o'clock? How about fully clockwise? All right. Here we have an example waveform of a drum beat recorded with a Shure SM57 dynamic microphone going straight into the interface for my computer. Notice the large transient spikes. Here we have a snare. Here we have the kicks. These smaller transient little, little spikes are the hi-hat sound. Now, when you use compression and you increase your gain, you can bring these more quieter sounds up, but these spiky sounds, instead of going over into clip and distort, will actually compress themselves. So the most strongest signals will actually be the first things to reach the threshold and experience compression, resulting in a thicker waveform like the one right here. This is the same as above except going through the widow's peak. Even at the most minimum input gain setting, there's still compression bringing out the background sound and keeping those spikes at bay. Let's take a listen to what these waveforms sound like. Okay, so here we have a, we'll call this the dry signal. This waveform was recorded with an SM57 microphone connected directly to the Scarlett 4i4 interface and the gain was set to about four o'clock. Let's, let's listen to this. Well, then I took this signal and I reamped it and I ran it through the widow's peak. Let's listen to what that sounds like. Okay, so let's go back and listen to that dry one more time and then about halfway through I'll switch it over to the Widow's Peak version just to kind of get a better comparison. Uh, in order to reamp the signal, I routed the dry signal's output from here, from master to external out, and I chose the third channel out. And the return signal came in on channel one. So next, let me give a little bit more explanation as to how I connected this for the reamping process. Here we have the Scarlett 4i4 interface, which has quarter inch direct outputs on the back. I have those connected to a patch bay, and that's where I come out of output three, and I go into a passive direct box right here, which outputs a balanced signal, 
going into the widow's peak which have the input fully counterclockwise Come hey just checking in if you've made this far i wanted to say thank you coming out of that with a balanced cable going back into the interface into channel one gain fully counterclockwise because it's a line level signal widow's peak the block diagram here we have something that looks like a schematic of widow's peak and it it actually is very close to it except i've omitted a lot of parts and extra stuff to simplify showing the signal flow through the most core elements of the circuit we come in with a balanced mic input this is an xlr jack we enter into an op amp with a fixed gain stage i call this the preamp it leaves the preamp and goes into the second gain stage where we have variable gain. This is the input knob on the front of Widow's Peak. We leave this gain stage to go to another gain stage, but here we have the action of compression occurring where we take the output of the gain stage and we drive an LED which shines onto a light dependent resistor, an LDR, and that affects the negative feedback in this gain stage essentially turning it down in response to the amplitude of the signal passing through. Once we leave this stage, we go into a set of op amps acting as output drivers that feed our balanced output and our unbalanced output quarter inch and XLR.